Hey, what's up guys? Brian with BS Bass and thanks for tuning in again. And today we got an exciting episode for you. Uh, if you haven't seen what we've been hinting in one of our last videos, but uh, we teamed up with Enigma Fishing on their fishing rods. We are part of their pro team. Uh, really excited to be part of it. This company is not just a, a company that's going to throw things away to people. Um, their products are really, really nice too. And one of the things that, that really intrigued me about Enigma was the fact that they were willing to go through the, the time, spend the time with me on their product and explain it. But the only reason why I wanted to talk to them about it was because I was personally impressed with it. And at the price point that these rods are, you have nothing to do but be impressed with them. I mean, they are phenomenal for what they actually cost. You know, when you look at a little bit more expensive rods, you're not getting anything more out of it. So why would you spend more money for it? So first and foremost, I'm going to go over the rods that I purchased. I purchased five Enigma rods to begin with, and I'm going to tell you how I paired them up and what I'm going to use them for. All right, guys, the first rod that I'm going to go through with you is this spinning rod, which is the only spinning rod I purchased from them. This is the one that was actually featured in, a sh in an episode, uh, like two episodes ago, where I was at the Chicago Sports uh, Fishing Show. Uh, this is a seven foot one medium action, extra fast. So this is the rod I'm going to use for my Ned Rigs, Sankos, Drop Shots. Uh, super fast tip on it, extremely sensitive. The model on this one is an Epon. And if you guys don't know what Epon means, it's actually like the highest ranked uh, takeout in it's like Japanese fighting or jujitsu, something like that. So their names are kind of modeled after some of that stuff, but this this really will, uh, it will perform. So this is a knockout rod, just like they named it the Epon. Uh, I have it paired up with a 25 series or a 2500 series uh, spinning reel on this. Uh, 15 pound braid. I may go to 10 pound braid when I'm throwing something lighter and then with like a six or eight pound fluorocarbon leader. But the main purpose for this rod is gonna be some of my finesse fishing, my real light stuff. I cast it out there and just, you know, barely be able to feel anything. I'm talking like a 1 16th ounce Ned rig. You really need something sensitive for that, but also you want that extra fast tip when you're fishing something like that. My next rod here is another Epon, but this is a casting model, and I paired it up with an 8.3 to 1 gear ratio uh, reel. Uh, this one is 6 foot, 8 inches, medium action, fast, and this is a jerkbait rod. I fish a lot of jerkbaits. You guys have probably seen that. Uh, this is going to be my go-to jerkbait rod now. 8 to 1 gear ratio. I'm going to be able to pull that slack out of the line. And the tip on this is real, real re responsive. So I'll be able to feel that jerk bait and twitch it just how I want to. I'm not going to end up dragging it because the tip bends too much. I'm going to snap it, and that jerk bait's going to change directions each time I snap it. You know, and that's exactly what you're looking for out of a jerk bait rod. So this rod, phenomenal for for jerk baits. But the other thing, and the same thing that the other Epon reel ha, uh, rod has that wasn't explained in my previous video. If you look close, look at that grip on there. So that grip there, it's similar to a wind grip. It's actually called an E-grip, all right? This is insane. I'm, I'm barely holding it. And look, you can't slip on that. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm yanking on this and I'm just holding with one finger there. You, it's phenomenal. Your hands are going to have fish slime all over them. You can cast this as hard as you want. That's not going to come out of your hand. The way I'm pulling on that, it's 10 times harder, 100 times harder than any cast you're going to make with, with a lure on the end of this rod. So like I said, my hand did slip on it. It's dry, but uh, you're not going to get this to slip. So this is extremely nice to have. If anybody's familiar with wind grips and you like them, check out the Epon series by Enigma. They have that e-grip and they are phenomenal. The price on those e-pons is $150 each. So it is their, like one of their premium uh, rods. Uh, the next rod that we're gonna look at is the HPT rod. This rod here is sweet, okay? Out of weight wise, the e-pon and the HPT are extremely close in weight. But I would actually say that the, the uh, HPT is a slight bit lighter, and that may be because of the cork grip opposed to the E-grip. Uh, but this one here 
is I believe 7.2. So on the uh, HPT series, it's written down on the back of the handle opposed to in front of the, uh, the real seat. So this is a 7'2", medium, heavy, moderate action. And this one here I have paired up with a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio reel. And this is going to be my square bill rod and reel. I throw a lot of square bills, but also like shallow crankbaits. Not just square bills, but shallow crankbaits. This will be my rod. I've got, I want to say, 10 or 12 pound fluorocarbon on here. It's definitely going to be the rod to go to with that. Uh, one of the things to see is on your reel seat, uh, a lot of the companies are going to this, but it's got two fingers on your reel seat, and it's real nice. When I palm that reel, as you see I do all the time, I'm palming it. No matter what, if I palm it with three fingers in front of the seat or two fingers in front of the seat, that just fits really nice. I could just palm that reel and get at it, and especially when I'm jerk baiting, man. You, you want a good grip on that because sometimes you go to twitch it, and you just got them hammering it. So it's the same style reel seat on the Epon and the HPT and also on the next series that I'm going to show you. This one again is at the $150 price point. Uh, extremely light though. So if you're throwing baits all day like a tournament guy, you're going to love how light this rod is. I mean, it's not going to wear you out while you're down on the water. This next rod, the Epon, or the, the Phenom, all right? So th this rod here, you know, it's got some nice graphics on the back. It's got the foam handle says Phenom on it. This one is seven foot six, medium heavy, fast action. So this rod here, I'm gonna use for a bit of top water action, and I'm also gonna use it for some jigs. Uh, not so much flipping, but jigs in heavier cover, I'm definitely gonna be using that on it. I mean, it's not gonna be my flipping rod for sure. It's not gonna be my crazy heavy uh, frog rod, but it's, it's up there in, uh, in action so that you can do a lot of that with this I'm just saying I don't want to throw a one ounce you know flipping a one ounce or punching a one ounce jig into a uh, you know a heavy mat with this rod this rods rated for three eighths to three quarter ounce so like I said that one ounce is just a little bit out of there but seven foot six is really gonna get me the distance on my cast this is also gonna get me distance on uh, you know flipping pitching whatever uh, Really nice rod. So this one's not quite as light as your HPT or your uh, Epon rod, but it's still extremely light, especially for the price point. So this one price point's $100 on, guys. You cannot go wrong with this rod. This rod, if you're looking for, you know, take a step up from those rods that you're buying at probably like a, a, a department store, like Walmart, uh, you know, some of the big box places, and you want to go to something nice, but you can't drive to Cabela's anyway, so you could order it from them, but order it from Enigma. And these rods are phenomenal, and they named it that for a reason, all right? So for $100, you're getting a phenomenal deal on this rod. This rod is insane nice, all right? So I've got this one geared up with that 8.3 to 1 gear ratio reel on it. Take up the line from doing top water, from jigging. You know, you don't want, you just want to reel in and crank into that. And this one's got enough backbone in it that you can do that. So you're not gonna snap your rods or anything. You're just gonna hook it, yank into it, and you're not gonna have a problem at all. The last rod I have here, I've got this one, it's another Phenom, but it's a moderate action, or a, uh, it's a medium, 710 medium heavy moderate action. So this rod I have geared up with a 4.9 to gear, one gear ratio. I've got eight or 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon on this. And this rod here is my deep crankbait rod. So with that seven foot, 10 inch length on this rod, I'm gonna be able to bomb those lures out there, all right? When I'm sitting over 20 feet of water and I wanna hit that rock on the bottom, this is gonna let me do it. I'm gonna sit far off of that, that uh, structure. I'm gonna bomb this over it. And it, that lure's gonna be down there by the time that it actually gets to the structure. And I'm gonna hook up with some of those monsters that are deep, all right? And this one again is that Phenom. It's a hundred bucks. Uh, the real seat, just like the other ones, I got two fingers in, uh, you know, in, in there. Uh, the blank goes right through the seat, so extremely sensitive. Palm the reel, amazing. All right, guys. So this one here, like I said, it's going to be my deep crankbait rod. Uh, these these rods are just great. So. We've got the Phenom, we got the HPT, and we got the Epon. Those are the ones that I bought 
there's a couple other models that they sell, all right? So there's one that's called the Atomic 29. It's strictly for crankbait fishing. Uh, all the actions are designed for different styles of crankbait fishing, and that's excellent. The thing about that one is it's got a full cork handle. I'm not a guy that likes full cork. I have one in my rod locker that has full cork on it, and now that I got these, it's probably going to get expired. So that one will go, you know, it, it'll be out of my rod locker. I'll never use it again. So the Atomic 29, although it's a great action, extremely moderate actions on those that, you know, you can throw those deep crankbaits, you can throw those medium crankbaits on them, and you can throw those square bills on them, and you're going to feel that through it. You're going to get that flex in it and that load on the rod that you want while you're using those lures. I just don't like the full uh, cork handle, so that's why I didn't go with it. And I seen that the HPT had a model for the square bills that I liked. I gave that one a shot. And then I'm also giving the Phenom a shot with the 7 foot 10 moderate action for crankbaits as well. So my crankbaiting's kind of covered. I'm going to have to tie, you know, retie, switch up a little bit until I get some more rods. But these rods are going to cover what I need for now. All right. So another thing that they have are some of their inshore rods. Uh, I haven't even felt them. Uh, I live in Chicago, so I'm not doing any fishing like that. You know, I'm not doing any, you know, saltwater fishing where they say like inshore for what are they like redfish or something. You know, I, I'm not doing that. So I don't know about those. But one of the things I want to say is this company is really, really responsive to work with us. Uh, I met them at the show. I was impressed with their products, so we started talking. And once we started talking, Shane, Shane Platter, and I, we kicked it off. And then also, you know, their pro staff that was there was talking to me, and I says, "Hey, you know, we, you know, this is what we're looking for. This is what we need. Uh, we're not, you know, we're not amateurs. We're on the water. You know, when we're on the water, we're 100% serious. The other thing is, uh, as you know, with tournament fishermen, uh, which I'm not a tournament fisherman, but if you get in my boat, it's a tournament. Trust me, game on, brother." But uh, we're a, a bit abusive to our our gear, you know. We got to jump up, get one spot to the other. We got our rods barely strapped down on the deck, and we're flying 70 miles an hour across the water. And you hit a couple wakes or a couple chops, our stuff's banging around. All right, you hook into a fish and you step on something, these rods aren't going to break. That's the thing that impressed me with the, with the Enigma rods and the company. And if you've seen the demonstration in the last video, you can see they could handle anything that you're going to throw at them. All right, guys. So I want to say thanks for watching this video, and thanks to Enigma Fishing for partnering up with us. Uh, we're really excited about this partnership. We're going to move forward with it, and we're hoping that you guys actually check out some of their rods too, because they are amazing. You got the Phenom, obviously phenomenal. You got the HPT. It's top of the line, guys. And then you got the Epon with the E-Grip on it. So you've got something to cover you no matter what you want to throw or how you want to hold it. Atomic 29, if you like the full core candles, guys, you really got to check them out. They are an amazing company. Thanks for watching another episode of BS Bass. Mm -hmm.